As Christians, we know that every person is a valued child of God. So we live out our faith each day making choices that demonstrate love and compassion to those around us. Yet how can we value the people who make the items we consume if we don't know anything about them? Take a moment to think about the clothes you're wearing. Who picked the cotton and toiled in the fields where it grew? Whose hands weaved it into thread? And who sewed it into a size just right for you? Imagine if you asked these kinds of questions about every object you owned and consumed. The fact is, we often don't know the people behind our products or the conditions they work in. Each year, millions of men, women and children are forced to work in fields, mines, factories, construction sites and the fishing industry. They are not free and are exploited for profit over and over again. When we buy products without knowing who made them, we can unwittingly be supporting the exploitation of others. The prophet Isaiah said, Learn to do right, seek justice and defend the oppressed. Learning to do what's right means educating ourselves about the issue of human trafficking and exploitation. We can seek justice by ensuring the money we spend on our products improves people's lives, rather than contributing to the demand for labour exploitation. And we can defend the oppressed by telling politicians and businesses we want them to take action to improve the lives of workers around the world who produce the goods we rely on. Together, as a movement of Australian Christians, we can follow in the footsteps of the slave trade abolitionist William Wilberforce and say no to a world where men, women and children are exploited for profit.